Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners, in this episode, I'm going to be detailing the research component of your PAT for this year. And of course, my previous videos have already spoken about the design brief and the actual uh, requirements for this PAT. We're going to zoom in on the research because this is the important part. It's in this phase that you actually set up your PAT for success. All right. So if we go to the PAT document, they've actually on page 11 give an explanation of what is required with your research so let's have a look at that we're looking here at number two the research part of your pad so they say here that you have to do research on the designs and floor plan layouts so the designs in other words how it looks the actual floor plan layouts of what a small modern library and media center so there's actually two components. You have to do research here on the library part and the media center part. That's your first one. The second one, they ask for three examples of heap and valley roofs and three examples of covered walkways. So again, a lot of research that's going on here. Three examples of heap and valley roofs. That's the first part of this point. And three examples of covered walkways. And then the last part is the designs and the construction drawing details of roll-up doors for serving hatches. Not roll-up doors, garage doors, okay, for serving hatches. So those are the three things. You do not need to do research on swinging doors or stacking doors or windows or anything else, but these three points. This is what you will be assessed on. And if you look at the actual checklist, you can see a repeat of this. Now they specify that this should be restricted to a maximum of four A4s or two A3 pages per topic. And so we're looking at a total of six pages here, right? If you think of design and floor plan layouts of small modern libraries, and then design and floor plan layouts of media centers, that's already two pages. Then three heap and valley roofs, that's one A3 page. Three covered walkways, that's another page. So design and construction, drawing detail, roll up doors and serving edges, that might be one so you're looking at least at five to six of these at the most okay can't go over them and then they will require the clear evidence of this research that has been used in your proposed design solution so i've actually asked this question now will that be determined well in your actual working drawings and in your designs there will have to be recognizable parts that speaks to the research that you've done all right page 12 further elaborates on this requirements for your research let's read together the research must be usable and should therefore be in the form of graphic material, in example, relevant pictures or illustrations for each topic. Okay, so look here, they're not asking for paragraphs for you to write. It is usable research. In other words, in the form of graphic material, relevant pictures and illustrations. That's the first key. The second one is evidence of at least five different examples of each research topic must be included in PAT portfolio unless otherwise stated. Okay, so how many examples? If you look at this year, they asked for three. Okay, so then it's not five in those instances. But when we get to 2.1, it doesn't specify how many. It just says design and floor plan layouts. So how many do they need? They want five different examples of each. Okay, make sure you take note of that. The research materials should be aesthetically presented and may not exceed 4A4s or 2A3s pages per topic. So my learners are keeping to that. Maximum of two. There must be clear evidence that the research has been used in your proposed design solution. So that evidence, as I said, is the fact that they can see that your research has been used. You don't have to draw a line to there or make a reference. It's just uh, being able to see that. And then you have to create, include a list of all references used bibliography. This bibli bibliography must be in such a way, you can't just say Google. You'll have to be specific to the website and the date that that information was accessed. Okay, if it is um, online, alternatively, you can use other bibliography methods. All right, let's look at some examples here. Okay, let's look at this research example from previous years. Now, uh, what's nice about this, it's very visual, lots of pictures, it's clearly indicated what this research is about. The 2.1 corresponded with the actual checklist, and yours should please be exactly the same in that sense. 2.1 and then the research topic. Make sure you use 
graphic material as they requested. This is almost in proportion too much writing. We could have had much, many more examples of design and I think you have to keep to five of course. So you will have to have five different types of design here. So this is the look part, the design part. And on the other side, you need to come up and show some illustrations, the layouts, the actual almost engineering drawings of these different elements that you are researching. So both of them, the design, the look and feel and the actual engineering part, how it works needs to be visible in this research. Let's look at the next one. They had to do research on a timber deck, of course. Very nice pictures again. And I could have easily seen that this was in the initial in, in designs of this learner. And here you can see the engineering part of it again. So you have to have speaking to both of these, the designs and the illustrations. Right, and this was the indoor pool again with different examples. Let's look at another one. Okay, here's an example of a layout of a kitchen. Now this is not applicable to you necessarily, but again, we've got the design, the vis visually pleasing elements to this, but also we have the more the engineering part of it. So make sure you have do research on both of these and that it's nicely laid out. We don't want white spaces and empty spaces. Use your pages optimally. Make sure it's clearly titled. Add your, your page numbers and your name to each page. All right, that's it. Enough examples. Now it's your turn.